Test, I'm rapping to the beat. And me, the groove, and my friends are gonna try to move your feet. You see, I am Wonder Mike, and I like to say hello. Up to the black, to the white, the red, and the brown. Let's use minimal leak technique in order to check cuff pressure. First step, you'll need a 10cc syringe. I've already done my mouth care, uh, and I've done my deep cleaning with a 14 French catheter to clean out that oral pharynx area, and now I can manipulate my cuff. If I connect my cuff, and I also need my stethoscope, I'll put the stethoscope over the neck. With the stethoscope on the neck, then I can slowly let pressure out of the cuff until I hear a loud gurgling sound. It'll be very obvious. It'll sound sort of like a very wet, gurgly, like this. It'll sound like that only during inspiration of the ventilator. When you hear that noise, then you'll re-enter the air and continue to enter until you hear just the tiniest wisp of air go by. You're actually trying to find that point uh, where it takes just the right amount of air to seal it. And we allow minimal leak technique means that we allow a tiniest of a leak. So it takes a little skill adding air, taking air away out of the pilot balloon in order to hear that area where you have just stopped the leak and then put and then pulled a tiny bit out, finding just the spot where you have a little tiny bit of a leak. Uh, the reason we do this sometimes instead of checking pressures is because often studies have shown that uh, outcomes were just as good doing minimal leak technique as they were. And of course, feel free to comment if you disagree, anyone out there who watches this and disagrees, that uh, outcomes as far as uh, complications like tracheal malacia uh, were reduced when you use some sort of effort such as uh, minimal leak or physically checking cuff pressure, and I'll go over that next. Here's a device used to check cuff pressure. It's called a cuff plate flater made by Posey Company. Simply connect the pilot balloon of your endotracheal tube or tracheostomy. As soon as you do this, you'll get a pressure reading on your gauge. You can now squeeze the bulb to increase the pressure, uh, or let the uh, pressure out by hitting the little red button on the left side of the gadget. Of course, be aware if you let too much air out and volume starts leaking by the cuff, you'll hear a loud gurgling sound at the throat and possibly through the mouth. It's easy just to add pressure until the uh, uh, you're either in the pressure range required, which is less than 25 millimeters of mercury. One, two, three, four, tell me one, do my, what are you waiting for? To the hip, 